And it's even more unsettling if uh, you have pets and you've evacuated here. 145 Yellowknife pets are taking refuge in Calgary. I'm here outside the city's Animal Services Center where peace officers just finished loading up this truck with hundreds of bags of dog food. The plan is for this food along with other supplies to be dispersed to families in need staying in the city. As of Wednesday morning, more than 600 pounds of pet food and cat litter has been delivered to evacuees in Calgary with numbers still expected to grow, the city is preparing for even further demand. This morning we received an increase in our supply, so we have five times that amount now that can be distributed as needed. In the south end of the city, rescue organization Parachutes for Pets has helped to foster 54 evacuee animals who can't currently stay with their owners. They say an additional 49 pets are also taking refuge in local shelters. We have uh, foster homes. We've got some actually out as far as Canmore because the Kelowna fires were coming down that way. So we were kind of full in Calgary with what was going on uh, in Yellowknife and area. So we've kind of reached out to the west of the city for that. As a City of Calgary partner, Parachutes is also providing medications while arranging veterinary appointments for injured animals, but they also offer more simple supports such as free baths for dogs like Sarge. A common thing that we're getting is, you know, uh, people might be coming to get a hamper and they're like, hey, um, my pet really smells bad of smoke, it's irritating, my allergies, my asthma, can't be comfortable for him, um, can you help us? Absolutely, we have a grooming facility in the back. David says they will continue to support evacuees and their pets for as long as they're in the city. As of Wednesday afternoon, the city says more than 2,700 Northwesterners have accessed local supports. In Calgary, Tate Laycraft, City News.